Hello and welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to another video and I hope from the thumbnail you get to know about the topic of today's video. In this video, we will discuss about that what are the things that you must be prepared for before entering into IIT and ISC for your MTech curriculum. Now, this video is specifically for MTech in CSE and equivalent branches that means MTech in AI and MTech in CDS also. So, I hope by now most of you know about that which are the institutions will be going for your MTech curriculum that means which are the IITs, NIT or ISC you will be going for MTech curriculum from the next month. Now, there are few skill set and few subjects that if you prepare for before going into your MTech in these institutions, your life will be a bit easier. I am not saying that you don't have to struggle in the initial days of your uh, MTech life in IITs and ISC, but if you prepare these things, you will be a bit ahead than the other other people in the classes. So that those things I will be discussing in this particular video that what are the skill set and what are the subjects that you must brush up in this next couple of uh, weeks that is left before you go to this institution that I am going to discuss in this particular video. So that is the content of today's video. So if you are a you know upcoming MTech students in uh, the, these institutions, so if you want to know detail about it, please stay in this video till end. And before starting the video, as you always say, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with other people. Without further ado, let's get started into today's. The first thing that you have to prepare for is that how to write a proof of correctness for any algorithm. It's very important that you know how to write this proof of correctness for any algorithm because whichever institution you will be, you will be joining any IIT, ISC or NITs. And whichever curriculum will be joining, you're taking CSC, CDS, AI. One common thing is in the first semester, you will be taking an algorithm course. In many IITs, it's a mandatory course, but places like ISC, in some other IITs also, it's not mandatory, it's an elective course, but most of the time, students choose a algorithm or data structure algorithm course in the first semester. So, now, you know, algorithm course you have to take and and, and one common pattern among these top institutions is that uh, there in the algorithm course, they will ask you to write the proof of correctness for any algorithm. Now, this is something is not much common to all of you because uh, you have come from your undergraduate college, even if you crack your uh, gate exam, there you haven't write the proof of correctness. Uh, whatever you have done is that you have studied the algorithm, you have you have been taught that how to use that algorithm in some question, or maybe you know at the most you have been taught that what is the time complexity or space complexity. Even in the gate exam also, right? You know you have you have studied the popular algorithms and you know how to use them in a in a particular problem, or maybe you know their time and space complexity. But in IITs and IISC, they will ask you that whatever algorithm you'll be writing, you also have to prove that those algorithms are correct. And believe me, 50 to 80 percent marks will be given to this part, how to write the proof of algorithm. I remember during my time in ISC Bangalore, the algorithm course that we have taken, out of out of 10 marks, which is given typically to algorithm question, 8 marks was given to the proof of correctness part. One is to give the, for writing the algorithm and one for the time and space complexity. So it's very important that you know how to write the proof of correctness because I have seen many toppers, many uh, students who are joining these IITs and ISC, they often struggle in this particular part. Because you know, this is not something that is very trivial. This is, this needs practice, this needs training that you know, you have to practice a lot of uh, algorithm to write their proof of correctness, then only you will have a sense that how to uh, write a proof of correctness. There are many, many ways, there are many uh, frameworks that you can follow and all these things. So that's why it's very important you practice before joining into these uh, colleges and a best way to practice is that whatever algorithm that you have studied so far, go back to the standard textbook that you are following and check those algorithms and their proof of correctness. So you already know a few popular, uh, you know, algorithms that you already covered during a gate exam. So check those algorithms in the textbook and see how their proof of correctness is being solved in that particular book. So this is how you start. Uh, I am not saying it is a, uh, it will be done overnight. It, you have to practice it uh, for many, many weeks and then maybe probably at the end of first semester when you will be going for uh, giving the end same exam in the algorithm course, uh, you will be able to do it fluently. So this is the first thing that all MTech, CSE, AI and CDS people has to do that start preparing for how to write a proof of correctness for an algorithm. Next is brush up your mathematical knowledge and mathematical skills. So nowadays in MTech, in CSE, in different IITs and ISC, they evolve around mathematics. 
uh, if you are particularly interested in theoretical CS or intelligent systems like AI machine learning, then math will play a big role in your MTech curriculum. Because these two area are, the, their core is uh, on, on the basis of mathematics. So that's why your strong foundation of mathematics is needed if you want to do Excel in theoretical computer science or AI machine learning. And nowadays, you know, 60 to 70 percent students are interested in either theory or AI in machine learning. So that's why uh, you have to brush up your mathematical knowledge. Uh, I hope you have you have learned a lot mathematics during your undergraduate also and during gate preparation also. So those knowledge now you have to brush up and you have to, uh, you know, study them from the textbook and understand the core fundamental idea. You know, it's not like solving a question. You have to understand those concepts in those particular subjects. In specific, if you are interested in theoretical computer science, your knowledge will be needed in discrete mathematics because discrete math is the foundation of many theoretical subjects like graph theory, uh, then there is commutatives, complexity theory, all those things are kind of based on discrete math. So, if you are someone who is looking for theoretical computer science as your expertise uh, for MTech, I would suggest you that go back and study discrete math well. And if you are someone who want to uh, do well in AI machine learning, want to pursue career in AI machine learning, then I would suggest you study probability, linear algebra, and calculus. So these three things are needed for uh, for AI machine learning courses. So what will happen in whenever you will enter in IITs and IISC, these advanced level courses related to theoretical computer science or AI machine learning will be starting. So they won't give you time to you know revisit and recheck and brush up the knowledge of these basic things so linear algebra probability calculus so you will not get a course for that you have to you know they they expect that you already know these things so that's why i'm telling you that you go back and study these things and and from theoretical computer science uh, just go back and see the discrete mathematics so these things you have to be uh, you know brush up and you have to be very clear so that the advanced level courses when you join iit and isc when they, that will be starting uh, you will be able to grasp up the concept very easily and also one thing remember that you know uh, try to uh, you know read advanced level topics also from these uh, subjects like linear algebra probability calculus discrete mathematics whatever you have studied probably is the basic things during the gate and your undergraduate days but try to learn a bit advanced level topics also because that will be needed during your master's days so the second thing that all mtech csc ai and cds things cds people have to do is that brush up your mathematical knowledge because your whole career uh, for the next two years will be based on mathematics. Next thing that you have to prepare or you have to focus on is your coding or programming skill. So often I get these kind of messages from gate aspirants that whether oh, should I prepare for uh, coding also during my uh, gate preparation because during MTech, you know, my coding skill, will be need, coding skill will be needed. So that time I often used to suggest that, you know, no need to prepare for coding. Once you crack the gate, you will have enough time to prepare for uh, coding or programming languages. Now, this is the time you have to start preparing for your, uh, preparing for coding or, or programming. Uh, especially the non csc student is very, very important because I know non csc student uh, they don't have that much exposure of uh, doing programming or doing coding uh, in their undergraduate. So this is the time, you know, before entering into IITs or IISC for your MTech, start doing uh, coding by your own. Uh, because frankly speaking, even if you're going to IITs and ISC, uh, coding will be needed at every step of your MTech. Uh, whenever you will be creating courses, uh, and there will be a lot of programming assignment given to you. You have to solve them and for that you need uh, coding expertise. Uh, when you will be doing some mini projects uh, at the part of your courses, there also coding will be needed. Then you'll be doing your master's thesis, there also coding will be needed. And finally, during placement, the most important thing, uh, there will be coding rounds. You know, in IITs and ISC nowadays, in every company is coming, they have a coding round. So you you have to have a, a, a moderate coding skill. You know, even if you are going for AI machine learning, you might feel that in AI machine learning there is not much coding. In theory, there is not much coding, but decent amount of coding skill is needed. So that's why it's very important that you start solving coding from now itself. So start from very basic. So there are a lot of platforms nowadays, nowadays available like Lead Code or Geeks Core Geeks. Anyone you know you can choose. And start from uh, start solving very basic data structure algorithm question from now. And every week try to solve two, three question or even more than that. Once you, uh, and I'm saying this that, you know, just not for these two months before entering into IITs. Even after entering into IITs and ISC, when you will be pursuing MTech, try to solve two, three questions per week. So this habit, if you, if you continue for next one and a half year before your finally 
on campus placement on campus mtech placement uh, by then then you will be an expert so that's why i'm saying start now continue for next one and a half year before your on campus placement and believe me you will be you'll be really good in coding if you are someone who is not from cse you are from other departments but maybe maybe you are from cse also but your coding is not that good so this is the way you can you can master the coding skill start solving from very basic uh, basic level and and try to try to upgrade it after a couple of months so this is the next thing that you have to you have to do that you have to start preparing for doing coding or doing programming now who is programming languages that you will be following while solving the coding questions uh, so there are many you know many languages that is available and during placement also there is no such bound that you have to uh, solve the code in a particular languages often company gives you a flexibility that you can choose any language of your choice you can choose c++ java c python whatever you use but in academia in iits uh, different subjects has different requirements for example uh, if you are creating a system level course, there are C, C++ coding is needed. On the other hand, if you are creating an AI machine learning course, there Python will be needed. So I would recommend uh, you can go with Python because Python is kind of universally chosen nowadays uh, by any company or C++. C++ will be helpful for you during your system level coding. So C++ or Python, whichever you want, you can choose. Next is for those students who are aiming for uh, their career in AI machine learning and planning to do their master's thesis in AI machine learning and will be most probably taking all the courses related to AI machine learning. For them, I will suggest that try to read basics about machine learning before going into IITs and ISC. Though in IITs, you know, you will be, you will be taught the basic machine learning, then advanced level machine learning. So the so the full curriculum will be there in, in, in IITs and ISC. But you know what happened is AI machine learning is new to all of you. So you don't know any terminology most probably of AI machine learning. So if you read a briefly about few terms at least, I mean, what are the classification algorithm that is there? What are the regression algorithm that is there? So if you just have a basic of machine learning, if you just go through them uh, from some course that is available online, then whenever you'll be creating the class in IITs and ISC, those terminologies will not be new to you and that will actually help you. So you can follow Andrew NG Coursera course that is uh, that is for, for beginner that will be really helpful. And there are many other courses nowadays available online. You can refer to them also. So basic of machine learning is something that if you if you complete or if you if you at least go through, that will be helpful for you. So these are all technical things that you must be prepared for before going into MTech. Now I'll be talking about few non-technical things or few tools that you have to be familiar with before joining MTech in IITs and ISC. First of all, if you are using a Windows operating system in your computer, uh, this is high time you leave Windows and move to Linux. Uh, so Linux is widely you know, accepted in academia. And what will happen is that when any join IITs and ISC, you'll be given some servers, or even the labs also will be given a Linux based system. So it's 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 highly highly needed that you know how to how to operate a Linux system. So that's why I'm telling you that move to Linux operating system and and see the basic commands of uh, Linux operating system. That means how to create a directory, how to create a file, how to copy a file, how to run a shell script, how to connect with a server. Because you know uh, whenever you'll be you'll be running your job, uh, you'll be given some server access by the department. So then also you should know that how to use a Linux server. So that's why you know it's high time that you leave uh, windows and move to linux next important thing is latex so i hope by now whenever you submit any assignment or any any homework that is given to you uh, you probably uh, submit it by writing in paper or maybe through 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 documents but in academia like iits and isc latex is something that is being widely regarded in this kind of thing so whenever you have to write a paper or report or even cv also you know um, whenever you be submitting the cv during your placement so latex uh, you have to use so that's why i would suggest you that you start using using latex so it's there is a free uh, online site that is available that is called Overly, uh, where you can you can you can create your projects about LaTeX. So you can upload different different uh, format is also there. 
so i would suggest you know start using it because that will be that will be very much needed because in academia uh, like iits and isc your homework uh, any assignments you can't submit by writing or uh, through to to doc because there are a lot of equations you have to write and that is not possible to document format so that's why um, it's 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 needed that you know how to use latex so that's why i'm i'm telling you that you know start using latex it's a very useful tool for your mtech the next important thing is github i hope many of you know about github it's a cloud uh, resource or or cloud repository for 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 storing the codes uh, so if you are someone who is not familiar with github start using it because you have to manage your code through github uh, all the codes and you have to you have to upload in the github and share with other people so maybe um, during your mtech thesis whatever code you will be writing if if your supervisor wants wants the code you have to upload it into github and share it during your placement also uh, whatever mini projects or projects you have done uh, you have to upload the code into github and and give the link in the cv so these things are important so that's why uh, you know start using github and uploading codes there so there are few commands that is there using which you can upload your code into github through linux and i think windows it's straightforward through browser only you can do it so github is the next important thing that you must be uh, familiar with and the last important thing is that try to be active in linkedin and twitter uh, so you are now in iits and isc and all the professional stuff is being posted in linkedin and twitter so now from now try to be active in linkedin and twitter because you will get all the update there related to companies related to events related to different seminar that is happening uh, throughout the country even throughout the uh, throughout the world so try to be very active in these two platforms because these will be really helpful for you all the opportunities you will be able to find in these portals so try to follow uh, the influential person like the different professors in different universities so that will be helpful for you even you know in future you want to go to research or industry in both the cases uh, these two platforms will be really really helpful for you so try to be active in linkedin and twitter so yeah that's it guys that's it about this video i hope this video will be helpful for all of you who will be joining to different iits and isc next month for your mtech curriculum so my best wishes to all of you and let me know if you have any question or query in the comment section i'll try to answer them and if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with other people and if you are new to this channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notification regularly that's it about this video i'll be meeting in the next video until then bye